In this video, we will associate vCenter domain to eGPG. It's the VMM domain we have already created. So we'll go to eGPG in our application profile and associate to the VMM domain. We'll select deployment type immediate. So it's deployed immediately when the changes are pushed. So once we finished with this, we should see three port groups in vCenter. Uh, we don't see them. Okay, let's go back, see if there are any faults. Deployment failed. The deployment failed. Controller not deployable. Okay, so we go back to our VMM domain and see if misconfigure anything. Pod 16. Okay, it looks like there are some faults showing up. So click on faults. Deployment failed. Configuration failed. Parent domain should be associated with a VLAN pool. Okay. Go to settings, uh, select the VLAN pool, which we already created in the previous videos. So, part 16, submit, submit. So, now we should see if everything is fine. Let's go see if the faults are gone. Yeah. Deployment failed. Soaking, I think, yeah, retaining. And it looks fine now. We'll go back to vCenter and we can see that there are three port groups for each EPG the tenant application profile name and the EPG. And these are all the settings pushed by the APIC for each port group.